Uh, my name's Ian Goche. I'm the owner here at Borderline Skate Shop. Uh, we've been in downtown Lethbridge for over 15 years and we've been at this location for just over 10 years now. My favorite thing about owning this place is definitely the community aspect. It's so good watching younger skaters growing up and improving their skills and also just doing the community events, bringing everybody together to celebrate skateboarding and snowboarding. The last one we just did was um, the Go Skateboarding Day on June 21st in collaboration with uh, National Indigenous Peoples Day. So we held it at Festival Square and we had a great night. We had a bunch of um, Indigenous performers come out and speakers. We were able to utilize the whole skate area in Festival Square where we brought in skateboard ramps. Ramps were also donated from Fort McLeod that we fixed up and then we also donated them to the uh, Pagani Skateboard Club. You know, everyone really came together to make it happen and it turned out to be a great event. Well, the next event, uh, bigger event that we have coming up is gonna be Skate of the Art. Skate of the Art started over 10 years ago and it was to raise money for the Wade Galloway Skate Park that's on Mayor McGrath. We get about 30 artists to then use a blank skateboard deck and they get to paint or draw whatever they want on the skateboard deck. And then we get a, like a cattle auctioneer to auction it off for a fundraiser for the Lethbridge Skateboard Association. So we haven't done one since COVID and this November 10th at the SAG, we're gonna have um, Skate of the Art. The favorite thing about downtown Lethbridge is just the other local businesses. It's so good to see uh, still a ton of familiar faces and you know businesses thriving in the downtown core and as well as there's a huge influx of new business owners coming in. So. It just gives a vibrant downtown experience to anybody visiting. Favorite location is always, we have the popular store upstairs of our location, uh, handmade leather goods uh, here right in Lethbridge. The Owl Acoustic Lounge, we get live music and great food as well. Um, we have the Penny Coffee House. We always get the beard trimmed up at Union, thanks to Chad and Chris and, and that whole crew. But yeah, we just try to keep it a tight community and there's so many good businesses here for sure. But at the end of the day, there's a lot of good people doing really good things like the Sage Clan and stuff like that that are here helping. Everybody's coming together to look out for one another and bring a positive vibe to the downtown core. I'd love to see the progress continue, you know, Third Ave getting developed, Festival Square getting developed. It's, it's time for that revamp and it's already happening. I'm looking forward to the next 10 to 15 years. What is your favorite piece of public art in Lethbridge? Um, First thing that pops in mind is that uh, the dog on the corner right heading into Galt Gardens. That always stands out for me. Uh, the yellow dog. Um, let's not put that in there though. <laughs> <laughs> let's, uh, let's, uh, um, What's wrong with the yellow dog? It's cute. I do love the yellow dog. I keep coming back to it. It's sweet. It catches my eye every time. It's always a new dog every day. Uh, that's the one. That's it. The yellow dog. You got my vote. <laughs> Love it. Well, thanks for taking a minute to chat with us today. <laughs> no problem. Thank you so much.